Mahindra Bank has been uh, pioneering in terms of uh, various technologies. Blockchain was one amongst them. We were the first bank to have a cross-border LC being done under blockchain. Uh, it was an issuance as well as its acceptance, I think, which happened uh, on the LC part. Uh, we partnered with JP Morgan Singapore to make it uh, you know, work. Blockchain solves, I think, uh, the biggest challenges which the customers face today. Uh, uh, most important, it reduces the transaction time, uh, secured, trustworthy uh, network, a very important part. And uh, when you see, uh, I think most of the corporate customers or the individual customers taking on an average 30 to uh, 45 days to process a transaction, uh, blockchain helps you to uh, minimize the entire network uh, challenges uh, and I think in a secure manner able to process a transaction in probably reducing 80 to 70 to 80 percent of the time. Collaboration is the most important part of uh, India Trade Network and uh, I generally say there are four pillars of uh, uh, having a blockchain uh, um, in a country. Uh, I think the first part being infrastructure, second part being collaboration, third um, uh, being the entire regulatory uh, uh, part and fourth uh, the biggest one being the legal framework. Uh, it has to be embedded in the uh, era of uh, trust and when that I think all five put together you generally say blockchain work. Uh, I say that in India the first two or three parts have been extremely successful. Uh, there has been infrastructure which has been created uh, through all the technological partners coming in. Um, Infosys taking a, a, a giant step in uh, taking the initiative and developing uh, uh, Trade Connect and Payment Connect. Second part, I think collaboration, eight banks came together and now 14 of them which accounts for more than 86% of uh, India's trade. The regulator, the central bank having a policy of uh, having a blockchain white paper and then making it work across for all the participants to participate and uh, this thing. And you realize that I think all these three put uh, uh, together with the IT Act and the Settlement Act uh, facilitating uh, a blockchain. India looks, I think, to be on a good path to uh, harness the blockchain technology for its long-standing challenges on uh, trade finance and, uh, if required, on the other networks as well. I think step one is to have the BIC being formed or uh, uh, something like BIC being formed. BIC is the blockchain infrastructure company where uh, uh, it is very much like the, uh, uh, the NPCI platform uh, for payments and uh, all the banks came together and I think formed it uh, uh, um, a consortium to have a payment infrastructure, infrastructure in the country. Uh, BIC is a similar thing for blockchain. Uh, one does realize that all the banks being, I think, equal partners coming together without any individual interest to share the data. Uh, data interoperable, trustworthy, secured manner and able to transmit the data in a single platform with a technological partner. You do realize that I think this is something which will change the way India does trade. I think it is very important that uh, uh, collaboration or to be collaborative is a very important part of being in blockchain. I always uh, compliment R3 for uh, I think what they came up and were able to have uh, 75 odd players uh, into the entire network. Uh, I would wish I think all of uh, um, uh, the banks put together if so, or major banks put together if they, one is part of the uh, network. I think the entire JP Morgan network is I think uh, quite good and is making good progress. But if there was a simple uh, a single platform the way I think we have it in India, uh, I would say uh, is the first and important step to ensure that you can make blockchain work. India seems to be doing, I think, um, uh, something good and uh, I think the, uh, the world can be see that as a path for harnessing all the benefits of blockchain which lie uh, for the world. I compliment Infosys for uh, thinking about uh, the customer challenges uh, on the trade part and then uh, coming and making a trade connect. Uh, payment side, I think, uh, has been addressed to some extent by NPCI. 
but uh, um, I think trade has been a big pain area. Um, uh, it takes on an average 120 documents to be processed, 120 documents to be processed before by various banks and various parties to make um, a transaction flow through and to get completed. Uh, 120 documents between four to six to seven parties to be exchanged uh, takes time. Uh, it also requires each of the parties to be uh, uh, to trust the document 100% before processing. Uh, so when you want to ensure security, you want to ensure uh, ensure processing. You want to ensure that I think the entire solution uh, finally goes to the customer. Uh, the biggest challenge happens is on the time. I guess I think blockchain solves a lot many operational challenges and a lot many challenges on time. Uh, and the regulatory side for uh, it to make it work. Uh, I think India Trade, India Trade Connect actually solves all those issues in, uh, 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 in with the entire framework. Uh, it is, um, it is, um, I think, platform agnostic. I think which helps us uh, uh, for every bank to come and connect. They can choose, I think, whatever they want, but they can have operate on uh, Trade Connect, uh, India Connect. Uh, you also see that I think it is flexible, uh, user friendly. Uh, uh, and I think uh, simple to use. Uh, I always use the principle of simple and fast and I guess it meets both uh, the requirements quite well in a secured manner and uh, uh, I don't think I think uh, um, uh, you can expect a better product uh, uh, than the Trade Connect uh, at least going forward.